Hey, I'm Steve Palmer with Surf Skate Love. I'm here in the beautiful St. George, Utah, here to tell you why I love surf skating so much as a non-surfer. Now, this video is prompted by an interesting conversation I had with Greg Falk, who is the co-founder of Carver Skateboards, the original surf skate brand. Greg contacted me because he was very curious to know what it is about surf skating that I love when I don't even come from a surfing background, and honestly, I don't even really care about surfing. I'm not trying to surf skate to become a surfer. I just love it. And I tried to explain it to Greg over the phone, but I thought it would be better to just show you visually. Now some really quick background. I come from a longboarding background. That's where I started. I didn't even start longboarding until last March when COVID hit. Our business shut down, so my family and I just started longboarding and we longboarded all summer long. I was longboarding for about seven months before I ever stepped foot onto a surf skate. And once I started surf skating, I left longboarding behind and I've never looked back. Now one of the main reasons is because a couple months into longboarding, Boarding on May 9th of 2020, I got into a major wipeout on my longboard that literally just about killed me. I was on a new board that I didn't know and I lost control on a hill. I superman through some gravel, just about hit my head on a big boulder. And I also ended up breaking this finger. So if you ever see this finger in my videos, you know why that's so jacked up. That was from my longboarding accident. I ended up having to have two pins in this. And that's one of the big reasons and I'm gonna show you this visually, the difference between surf skating and longboarding. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to take you through several different riding environments and I'm going to show you how I would approach that riding environment on a longboard versus a surf skate. So let's go. Okay, so here's our first riding environment we're going to try. We've got an extremely steep hill, very rough asphalt. There's tons of pebbles along this hill. Let me show you what I'm going to do with this on a longboard and then I'll show you what I can do with this environment on a surf skate. All right, next up we have another very steep hill. This is paved with bricks, which makes it very, very rough. Let me show you how I'm gonna take this on a longboard. Now let me show you what this looks like on a surf skate. Now we have just a bunch of urban obstacles. Let me show you what I can do with this on a longboard. Now let's see what this looks like on a surf skate. And our final riding environment is a parking lot where you've got lots of cars coming in and out, backing out, can be kind of dangerous. Let's see how I can take a parking lot on a longboard.
Now here's what I can do with this parking lot on a surf skate.